Hello, third graders. Today in Writer's Workshop, we are going to continue looking at informational text. Now, if you're new to our classroom, we learned about informational reports last week. An informational report, you are a reporter sharing facts about a topic. Now, facts are true things that actually happen. Facts. Now, today, we're going to continue looking at informational reports and how we can become good writers, good informational reporters. And sometimes it's kind of hard to come up with an idea. So there's a couple of things that writers do to come up with ideas. Now first, we're going to read about Tim Tebow. Now we need to think about what kind of facts you hear about Tim Tebow in this lesson. Tim Tebow, have you ever dreamed of being a professional football player? Becoming a football player was more than just a dream for Tim Tebow. He made it a reality. After years of playing non-professional football, Tebow would eventually be the football player that he dreamed about becoming. Childhood. Tim Tebow was born August 14, 1987, and was the youngest of his siblings. Growing up, he and his siblings were all homeschooled by other parents. During this time, his parents also taught him the family's Christian beliefs. When Tebow was in his teens, there was a law at homeschooled, that homeschooled students were able to compete in high school sporting events. This allowed Tebow to begin playing quarterback for a local high school called Allen D. Nice High School. At Nice, Tebow became popular for his running and throwing abilities. His senior year of high school, he was named Florida's Mr. Football and was also named Parade Magazine's High School All-American. However, this was not the end for Tim Tebow. College Football. In 2006, Tebow began playing college football after receiving an athletic scholarship to the University of Florida. His sophomore year, he was considered an all-around outstanding player. He was awarded the Heisman Trophy for his great play and great character. In his 2007 season, he set many rushing and touchdown records as the quarterback. In the 2008 season, Tebow led his team to a win in the BCS National Championship game. Professional football. In 2010, Tim already drafted by the Denver Broncos for the NFL, National Football League. He was officially a professional football player. With the Broncos, Tebow played two seasons with the highlight of his career being an 80-yard touchdown pass that won a playoff game. Tebow went on to play for up for other NFL teams like the New York Jets, but later ended his football career with the Philadelphia Eagles. As you can see, it took lots of time and patience to make Tebow's dream come true. He never gave up on his desire to be a professional athlete. In this report, the author wrote about a sport that they enjoyed and knew a lot about. They did not tell you a story about a time that they played football or why she thinks football is the best sport. Instead, the author shared facts about one of her favorite players. She was an expert who taught us more about the sport and the player. She can do this because she knows so much about him. You are an expert on certain topics too. It might not be a football player, but there are probably things you are really good at or enjoy and can take and can teach others about it. It could be an activity, a hobby, or just something you like to do that you especially could teach someone else about. It could be a place that you visited or an animal that you read a book on. Now in third grade, when we're trying to think of a topic we know a lot about, 
we use something called a brainstorming map. Now, this is the brainstorming map that we are going to use and practice with. And I'm going to fill out one, and then you're going to fill out one with things that you know. So this first part says things I love and already know a lot about. So I need to think about things I know a lot about. One thing that I know maybe all of us know a lot about because we've been studying it in science are simple machines. I could tell you about simple machines. I could give you examples and I can tell you maybe how we could use a simple machine in our real life. Now the second thing I know a lot about is I know a lot about teaching. I'm a teacher so I could write an informational report about teaching and I want you to think of some other things that you already know a lot of things about maybe you play a sport I play volleyball so I know a ton about volleyball I could write an informational report on how to play volleyball or the rules of volleyball I also love to plant different things so maybe I could write an informational report about plants and on the second part, this is what you would use if you maybe don't know a lot about a topic, but you could look them up because you're curious about them and you have an interest in it. Now, I don't really know a lot about, let's see, um, baking a cake. So maybe I could do some research on how to bake a great cake and write an informational report on it. Or maybe I don't know a lot about the sport baseball, but I'm really interested in baseball. I could look up some facts about baseball, baseball players, and write an informational report about them. You think of something else I'm interested in. I'm interested in, ooh, a certain kind of animal. I love sloths but I really don't know a lot about them other than that they're slow. So I could look up information about sloths, maybe what they eat, where they live, and write an informational report about a sloth. One last thing that I'm interested in is different country. Let's see, uh, um, Europe. And I could look up information about Europe. For your assignment today, you have to complete coming up with good report ideas and brainstorm four different things that you're either curious about or already know a lot about, four on each one. And then you'll be completed for your writing workshop today.